Hey, welcome back to To See or Not To See. I'm your host, David Price, and this is our co-host, Jeff Wilson. Hey, what's going on? And uh, Jeff, let's go ahead and start out by telling the nice people about our rating system we have here. All right, on To See or Not To See, we have a very unique rating system. It's actually a 10-point scale that we've broken up into positives and negatives. On the positive side, you have our William Shakespeare's. Now, these are movies that we attribute to great credit as a result of the name William Shakespeare and credit to the English playwright. Um, if it falls on this scale, you either have to rent it and watch it, or it's a buy. Um, and on our negative scale, we have the William Shatners, or as Shats, as we like to call them. Um, these are movies that you should avoid mostly at all costs. Miscreants of the industry. There we go. So, with that said, I believe we have a special guest today. That's right. For those of you who are more familiar with our third co-host, Katie Keegan, she's generally our chick flick correspondent, but today she's our foreign flick correspondent, coming, for, or coming all the way from Italy, I believe. So let's see if Skype is working. Katie, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Hey, guys. How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Oh, not too bad. We're Before surviving. we delve into movies, let's talk a little bit just about your Italian experience. Um, tell us a little bit about Pino. <laughs> Pino. Pino is my Italian friend who is very handsome and has taken it upon himself to teach me Italian. Um, he always has a very big smile for me. <laughs> oh, and he's also like 60 years old. But he uh, goes to my church here in Florence, and he is absolutely wonderful. Sounds great. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's okay. see. We also want to talk about your award a little bit. Yes. Could you uh, just tell us about that? Tell us about your film? Okay. Uh, well, last semester... She totally sees uh, the hand motions. I made a short film called Has No One Than This, which is about how a group of friends deal with losing um, one of their friends when he's killed. And it's just how they each cope in their own way. And before I left for Italy for the semester, I entered it in the Broadcast Educators of America's um, film contest. And it won third place in its division, which was two year in small colleges. So Very that nice. was really exciting. I um, just found out about that a few weeks ago. So. Awesome, awesome. So we have an award winner on staff now. That's great. It makes us look better as a department. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> right. OK, so ladies first, uh, what film are you going to be reviewing for us today? Well, uh, over here in Italy, I am part of the cinema club, or actually they would call it Cinema Club, and watched this amazing film the other day, which is called I Slotti Ignoti, which um, technically mm. means the usual unknown burglars slash housebreakers, <laughs> but you would know it by the English, uh, the English name of Big Deal on Madonna Street. And it was made in 1958 by Mario Monicelli. And it is about a group of uh, burglars who decide to take on the big heist. Um, and they are led by a boxer who's not at all a criminal, but gets dragged into it. And the whole thing is just following these five men as they're trying to, um, to take over this, um, this safe, and they just run up against all different problems. Um, one of them finds a conscience. Um, one of them has to deal with having an infant. Um, another one has a mother that uh, is getting on to him. And so it's really a whole lot of fun. It's an Italian comedy, and in fact, it was the first um, in that actually uh, was the first in the genre of, a, of Italian comedy, which is very different from American comedy because it, Italian comedy, at least in the 50s through the 70s, is very realistic. And so your characters are dealing with real things. If they're poor, they're really poor. Um, it's not like in something like uh, the Ocean's movies where they have this financial backer who has all this money. Um, these thieves, to finance, um, to finance their heist, they have to get creative. And so it's just a whole lot of fun. And it's just a big heist movie. It had me laughing the entire time. So I definitely suggest that you guys should see it. And that was, uh, you'll find it under the title, Big Deal on Madonna Street. 
Now, I do want to stop you for a second there. Um, we're not using webcams, and so you couldn't see the streak of joy that just flashed across my face. But uh, we were trying to think of Italian stereotypes earlier, and apparently one is that Italian men are very, very close to their mothers, sometimes uh -huh. not even leaving home until like the age of 30 or 40. And you said that one of the characters had a mother that was getting involved. Could you just go a little bit deeper in on that, just from my own curiosity? <laughs> Well, I, I don't want to go too much into that because it's actually one of the twists of the movie. But basically, um, that is fairly accurate, um, that the Italian mother is involved in their, family, in their son's lives. Um, and so this particular mother um, cares very much about what is happening to her son, and he feels a very great um, loyalty to her. And so he definitely has issues with what he's doing, knowing that she wouldn't approve. That's cool. So have you met Pino's mom? Is she dead? I have not met Pino's mom, no. OK. I don't know if she would even be alive still. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Well, so let's see. What other movies do we have on our list tonight, Jeff? We have Sweet Home Alabama, mm. um, Moulin Rouge, Okay. and No Reservations. OK, the last one I actually haven't seen. Well, actually, it so. just came out on DVD. In the now, was week. that the Catherine Zeta-Jones film where she's it, a chef and she meets another chef? It now? was, oh, it okay. was. And we'll go into that more in more detail later. Um, I think we have sponsors that need to get their money's worth. Okay, sounds good. And we'll be back after this break. <laughs> 